Today, we're gonna to be talking about a project that's included in the web of ISO 20022 coins. Now, what are these coins? What does this mean? What is ISO 20022? Well, we've covered it on the channel quite a bit, but the long and the short of it is, it's a new protocol for the way that banks and financial institutions will communicate with one another. There's only a certain number of coins in the world of crypto that are gonna be able to integrate with that system. Yes, these coins could revolutionize the way money works across the world. Buckle in, because we're about to take a deep dive on XDC. Let's get it. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the people's channel, home of the BitSquad, the largest and greatest crypto community in all the interwebs. No channel works harder to keep you in the know about crypto. Today, we're talking XDC, and we're going to show you why they're working hard to change financial infrastructure. My name is Ben, and before we get too deep into the video, let's make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We're going to be covering the most explosive coins with gigantic potential in the next bull run. You're not going to want to miss it, so make sure you have your notifications turned on. Okay, so XDC, also known as Zenfin. What is it? XDC is an EVM-compatible Layer 1 network. EVM stands for the Ethereum Virtual Machine. It's kind of the biggest thing in crypto in a lot of ways. Everything runs through the EVM that happens on the Ethereum blockchain. Of course, you know Ethereum right now is the number one overall blockchain in the world when it comes to users. So the fact that XDC is interoperable with EVM, well, that's a big deal. So XDC is meant to be used on an institutional level. That's what XDC is, but what does it do? XDC is focused on regulated industries. Think institutions. Everything has to be regulated, compliant, compatible. This makes XDC perfect for working with global trade and finance. XDC reaches network consensus through a delegated proof of stake mechanism. They specifically call their brand, because everybody's gonna have a unique name, XDPOS. And the consensus architecture is similar to what we know as proof of authority. Now you may have heard of proof of authority or POA before, because that's what VeChain uses, another large project in the crypto space. And there are already some really cool dApps built on top of XDC, including Trada. Trada is a trade finance focused dApp. It's also a fully regulated layer two tokenized security. Now this project also has what's called decentralized oracles. Now, if you've heard of oracles before, you probably think Chainlink, that is the big name in the space. But basically what decentralized oracles are, is there a way for off-chain data to communicate with on-chain data? Think taking real world data and putting it on the blockchain in a decentralized way where you make sure that all the data is pure. So it's got off-chain sensors that run along the network in order to inform and monitor the blockchain. And Zenven also has master nodes. These master nodes allow institutions to know that they are fully regulated and compliant at all times. So back to ISO 20022, this is the messaging protocol standard that's gonna be the way that banks and institutions and all major finance players communicate and XDC is compatible with these requirements. So the Zenfin protocol doesn't create things from scratch. It leverages already existing technology and protocols and makes them better. It leverages systems like SWIFT, core banking and ERP systems. Now XDC also has its very own FinTech incubator called Impel. Impel offers simple API integration and not just faster payments, but also instant settlement of those payments. All the money and value is being transferred in real time. One of the best parts of this network, and it's very important for all the transactions that we'll be running through, it can process up to 2,000 transactions per second. And that's huge, faster than Visa even. But it also does it with near zero gas fees and two second transaction times. Now I can't give you financial advice or tell you what to buy, but if you are interested in investing in XDC, one place it is tradable at is KuCoin. So if you guys wanna check out our KuCoin link down below in the video description, you can find not just XDC there, but the largest collection of coins on any exchange. Remember, don't ever invest more than you can afford to lose because nothing in crypto is guaranteed. Now, XDC also has some updates coming, including the XDPOS 2.0, the second version of their consensus mechanism. It's gonna actually incorporate a judiciary branch into the consensus as soon as 2023. Now, 2.0 is gonna feature a BFT or a Byzantine fault tolerance. Plenty of projects in crypto use this mechanism. Now, XDPOS 2.0 was actually developed by Princeton University's Pramod Viswanath and Hash Laboratories Fisher U. This update is gonna ensure that all validators are held accountable on the network. And remember, 
This is all about regulation. It's all about compliance. It's all about compatibility. So these are very important steps that this project needs to take. Next DC is out there networking. They're making big moves. They're actually a member of ITFA's Digital Negotiable Instruments Initiative and the Trade Finance Distribution Initiative, which is made up of the top 10 transaction banks in the world. You can't tell me that's not big. And they've also got a big partner in Singapore, the IMDA Trade Trust Initiative. Now, we actually reached out to the XDC team and asked them for their opinions on what they think is important. And we got some very interesting feedback from them. We spoke to XDC's executive director, Billy Sabell. We wanted to get his thoughts on what the next 10 years for Zenfin looks like. He believes regulation and compliance is coming to the world of crypto and it's not a bad thing. He said, within the next 12 to 32 months, global regulatory frameworks will become far more accommodating to digital assets. He expects things to get much friendlier. He said, at that point, we hope the key stakeholders driving the adoption of the technology and global trade are well positioned to offer utility to industry participants. Now, XDC has been ranked in the top 100 on CoinMarketCap for two years straight. You may have not even known it existed. It doesn't get nearly as much coverage as a lot of the ISO 20022 coins, but it has a very strong community and very strong social volume. That means their community likes to talk about it a lot. So what about the tokenomics? We understand those are always very important when you're looking at a project. The price right now is just a little bit over three cents. It's down over 80% from its all-time high in the bull run. Its previous all-time high in August, 2021, it's actually 18 cents. The circulating supply consists of 12.3 billion XDC and has a total of 37.7 billion coins. So only about a third of those have been brought into the supply so far. Next DC looks like it could have a lot of potential if it's going to be a major player like we think it will with traditional finance and changing the game, giving the world finance system a facelift. With a market cap right now of under $400 million, this one could have a lot of room to grow. And if you watch my portfolio videos, you know I'm betting on all the ISO 20022 coins. That's why XDC is definitely one in my portfolio. So I wanna know, what do you think about XDC? Is this your first time hearing of it? Are you in the community? Drop those comments down below. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Can't wait to dive deeper into those ISO 20022 coins because it's very interesting what is coming. I think all these coins are gonna get a big benefit. All right, guys, that's all I got. Be blessed. I got a Zen fan out of here. Bit boy out.